My name is Ron Feldman. I'm the Senior Vice President for Supervision, Regulation, and Credit here at the Federal Reserve Bank of Minneapolis. And today I'm going to be talking about a forecast of banking conditions in the 9th Federal Reserve District. And that district, as a reminder, consists of Montana, North and South Dakota, Minnesota, the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, and the, e the western portion of Wisconsin. And what we're going to be doing is looking at a forecast for the states of Minnesota, the Dakotas, and Montana. And in sum, my expectation is that conditions are going to improve in 2012 along the lines that they improved in 2011. And I'll give you more details on that shortly. But first, we're going to start with talking about the uncertainty associated with a forecast of this type. In general, it's very difficult to forecast banking conditions. We have relatively limited data on conditions, and that makes any forecast uncertain. That's in general. Right now, it's particularly hard to forecast conditions because we're in what economists like to call a turning point. That is, conditions are getting better right now. Several years ago, they were getting worse, and it's always harder to forecast when conditions are changing. And finally, this is the first forecast of this type that we've done. So all of this is to say there's a lot of uncertainty in what you're going to see. So what kind of forecast did we do? We did what's called a judgmental forecast. That is, we rely on information from many sources, including statistical models, anecdotes, discussion with bankers, uh, accounting data, and we bring that all together. What are we going to be forecasting? For the four states that I mentioned, we're going to forecast three variables for the median bank, that is the bank that's in the middle of all the banks in those states. We're going to forecast profitability, just how, profitab how profitable are banks. We're going to forecast year-over-year -year loan growth, so whether loan balances are higher or lower one year out. And we're also going to be forecasting asset quality. That is, do banks get their loans repaid and on time? And all these forecasts are going to be for the median bank in those states one year from now. So we're forecasting what conditions are going to look like at the end of 2012. So enough with the prelude, what do the forecasts look like? In general, what we're expecting is that conditions in 2012 at the end of the year are going to be uh, improving along the lines that we saw improvement in 2011. So what does that mean? Well, we saw strong improvement in asset quality in the district and in these states for uh, asset quality, and we are going to expect to see more strong improvement by the end of 2012. We saw some improvement, but more of a middling nature for profitability, and again, we're expecting that kind of improvement going forward. For loan growth, we saw strong improvement at the end of the year in 2011, and I'm going to forecast strong improvement going forward. Now, just because you're looking at strong improvement doesn't mean that conditions are going to be returning to what they were before we had a financial crisis. So in fact, what you're going to see is that for some states, you're, the uh, conditions at the end of 2012 are going to be quite strong. That's particularly true for North and South Dakota, where conditions are already strong today. In contrast, in Minnesota and Montana, even with the improvements in profitability and loan growth, those metrics are still going to be off of their pre-crisis uh, position. Asset quality in Montana and Minnesota is going to be getting a little closer to how it was before the crisis. So let me give you more details. First, we're going to start with an example looking at the state of Montana. And in this slide, you can see we're going to have four data points for each of the three measures. Again, their profitability, year-over-year -year loan growth, and asset quality. Let's look at loan growth. The first number you're looking at is the current measure of loan growth, which is negative 3%. That is, at the end of 2011, loan balances were 3% less than they had been the year before. Then the next number is 7%. That's the median for the prior decade. That is, it is the middle value that we saw in Montana for year-over-year -year loan growth. So you can see that the current value is far lower than the median. And then finally, you're going to see the range. The range that we're forecasting is between negative 2% and positive 2%. That is, we're expecting loan growth to be between that range for Montana next year. So let me show you what that would look like visually. In this graph, again, let's look at loan growth, which is the blue and the blue bars in the middle panel. In the left of that panel is the distribution of all the values that we've seen over the last 10 years. To the right of that, you'll see a dot that's labeled fourth quarter 2011. That's the current value, and above it is the range of the forecast. So what that's telling you is that even with the improvement that we're forecasting, 
In Montana, we're expecting lung growth to be considerably below the median. In contrast to asset quality, the bars in the purple, you can see with the improvement we're forecasting, we're getting closer to the median. Another way to show the same data is to look at it over time in graphical form. And that's what you're seeing here. Again, you see the big drop off in loan growth for Montana for the median bank during the crisis, some improvement, and then we're showing you, we're showing you what the forecast values we're expecting are. But even with that, you could see we're off the historical trend. In contrast, let's look at the same sort of pictures for North Dakota. For North Dakota, let's look at the far right panel, which is asset quality. And you can see that the current value is better than the median, far better. And we're forecasting an improvement. So asset quality in North Dakota is going to be at historically low levels. You can see that profitability in, Mon in North Dakota is closer to what it's been. And again, generally speaking, improvement across the board in a state that already has strong conditions. We're looking at the same data for asset quality for North Dakota for the median bank, and it shows you the same picture. Relative to the last 10 years, conditions now are better. We're expecting them to improve. South Dakota looks a little bit like North Dakota. Not as strong across the board, but asset quality and profitability are quite strong and are going to get better. Loan growth we're expecting to get better, and that'll put it a little bit closer to its historical norms. In contrast, Minnesota looks a lot more like Montana. Asset quality getting closer to historic norms, but year-over-year -year low growth and profitability, even with the improvement we're forecasting, remaining off of historical norms. So in sum, we're expecting an improvement in conditions in the states. In some states like North and South Dakota, that means that you could even see better conditions than what you see now, and those are historically strong conditions. In Montana and Minnesota, we're expecting improvements. That's going to put asset quality back to historic norms. But even with this improvement, profitability and loan growth remain off of historical trends. Thank you.